My name's Hugh Morris. I'm a neurologist. I work at National Hospital Queen Square in the Institute of Neurology. I'm also a researcher working on genetics and biomarkers. The corticobasal syndrome uh, is a syndrome that can be very closely related to PSP and have the same underlying pathology. Uh, we know that usually with corticobasal syndrome, patients develop difficulty with control of one arm, um, difficulty that we call dyspraxia, and that tends to get progressively worse over time with progressive stiffness and difficulty in controlling, uh, controlling one arm to do skilled, to do skilled activities. And corticobasal syndrome is, is an even rarer condition than PSP, and unfortunately things to get, tend to get progressively worse over time. So tend, people tend to get progressive difficulty with use of one arm and progressive difficulty with walking and then difficulty with their speech and swallowing. Um, there's, a, there's a huge variation in how that affects people and the, the way that this changes over time. But nevertheless, usually this gets worse over time. There really is an urgent need to try to develop new tests and new treatments for corticobasal syndrome. And that's something we'd really like to develop with support from the PSP Association.